was thinking about an analogy earlier about saying you want to do something and the effort that you're putting into it. So let's say I said I was hungry and I could only hunt for my food. But I was only hunting once a month. You know, I, I could go out there and I could hunt once a month and maybe I got something or maybe I didn't. But if I didn't and I was still hungry, I could sit around and complain that I didn't get anything or I could start hunting once a week. And then same thing, if I if I got something, I got to eat. And if I didn't, then I would eventually start hunting twice a week or three times a week or eventually I'd be hunting every day or multiple times a day. So my thought process was when you say you want something, the effort that you put in has to keep scaling up until it produces the result that you wanted. And sometimes those don't match up. Sometimes you think a, a, a certain amount of effort will produce the results that you want and you find that it requires way more effort. I think that happens a lot. And I think that's where you see where the, that's where victory is. When, when you, when you're willing to do what it takes to achieve the goals that you have, that's when you'll achieve them. And I, I don't think we understand what it takes a lot of times. Yeah. And this is, this is to do with business. I was thinking about it on my, my efforts that I've been putting into building up my mortgage business. I have, continued to double down and double down and double down and I'm going to continue I'm going to keep doubling down and I'm going to keep adding more and more effort and I'm going to accomplish what I want to accomplish I'm going to win <laughs> I'm I'm going to do whatever it takes and I'm going to win but I think people just don't realize how much effort including me I, I didn't recognize how much effort I was going to have to put into this business, but I see it, and I'm willing to do it, and I'm not stopping, so here we go, let's get it.